year mode. Right. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> Sarah. Yay. I know it. Sarah Sita. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, il pleut comme les vaches qui pisse. Okay, it's not actually, it's not, no, you can't unmute, sorry. It's a tomb, you're not doing it wrong. <laughs> it's too, too it's Sorry, Sarah, Sita, pardonnez-moi, pero tu n'es pas power <laughs> on <laughs> este Zoom. <laughs> oh shoot, I learned a new French word the other day. From, dang it, it'll come to me, it'll come back to me. And then I used it in context. Sarah, you would be proud. Go ahead. I did it wrong, I don't think I did though. There is no wrong. Right? It was comprehensible. People laughed, so it seemed like they understood what I said. That was the conversation I had with my babies this afternoon. I'm like, can you, can you, I will trade everything that you were doing in class if you can just mm -hmm. learn it out. Let right. the person, let the, let the person it. figure out what you're saying. They will. Right. They're usually nice people. Right, right. Like the, the jerks are, are few and far between in a lot of ways. Like just yeah. try the thing. It's fine. If yeah. they laugh, what? Okay, move on. Yeah. Like, but you're gonna get. What did I? Oh, Sarah, you would have been proud last um, June. When were we pre? Not last June. Hmm, last last June, because uh, we were coveting last June. Um, like two Junes ago, I th I remembered us having a conversation like ten years ago about like foot, and we were like pa pa or whatever foot is anyway. And I managed to buy band aids in Paris, and I was pretty proud of myself. I was oh, like, wow. uh, j'ai problème avec mon pied. Je ne pas. Me. Right, exactly. And he was like, mm. and like yeah. handed me those amazing French, the ones that like, like are the, like they like adhere to your flesh a little bit. That sounds creepy, but they're like really like smooth and not sticky. Anyway, delightful. Bought like six boxes, brought them all home. <laughs> Haven't needed them, but I have them just in case. Okay. Oh, Sarah, can you oh, one? Maribel. Maribel está. Oh. Ta -ta. Hey, Marty Bell, you're about to see your face in some stuff. <laughs> yes, you're gonna see you're gonna see yourself because I stole your presentation. So, <laughs> but you get the credit. Yes. Hold I'll on. Be like, I'm gonna pause the credit. share. This is what we do right now. We narrate everything we're doing. There we go. Yeah. All okay. right. We've got all the things. Yay! Okay, so we'll give everybody about another thirty seconds. I've got like seven oh four ish. Um, yes, Kelly Sita, I am the prison matron of this Zoom. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I am so like deathly afraid of any kind of, although like a professional setting would be, you know, you'd rather get Zoom bombed like that, like there than with students, but I just don't want it at all. Like I'm, no, we don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. I have been, I've been in a couple of state webinars, like with other states where it's happened. I'm like, who didn't have the Zoom on lockdown? <laughs> like get it together, okay. people. Go ahead, Roman. No, no, I agree. This is like, I've seen you do this before. So this is like, it, it just kind of goes by faster and-, and mm -hmm. Yeah, we keep, people, it, keep it locked down. No control, yeah. sorry guys. <laughs> people are, people well, and I feel like time. adults too. The second you're like, okay, we can chime in. All of a sudden someone's like yelling at their children and they don't know they've unmuted. And you're like, oh, sh 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 oh, oh, it's happening. Like I can't make it stop. <laughs> so it's like, or, eh, whatever. Or pet. You know, pets are also this really is true. Good. Or pets, and I feel like we're about to uh, we're making eye contact, but he's not going to come in yet. Yay! Um, fantastic. Okay, so welcome. I've got seven oh five, which is usually our our mo here. Uh, my name is Meredith White, and I teach Spanish just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Romancito, I don't know where he is on your on your screen, is in Savannah. He's going to obviously tell us a little bit about himself, but I'm excited. I'm excited about this one, but I'm also a little nervous, Roman, because no. Uh, not nervous, but uh, Roman was my first department chair ever. And so you know how that's just like, that's just quite the experience. Like I can't, I, you know, now, <laughs> shut up Roman. <laughs> like having worked with so many new teachers and I feel like so many of them look like they have it super together. And I don't know if they're just like better actors than I was or whatever, but um, I feel like I look at them, I'm like, wow, so-and-so, like Amanda's really got it together. Abby is like on top of it, you know, whoever, whoever you're calling her, but you guys are the only faces I can see. Um, and so I'm going to use your names and that, and so that happens. And I feel like I was just constantly like, like with my mouth up and going, what am I supposed to do? Like you come out of all of those methods classes and you come out of like student teaching, which is like a disaster in of itself sometimes. 
And um, it's just a lot. And then if you don't have people who support you and go, ooh, probably shouldn't have said that, <laughs> but like, it's okay. Um, I don't know how people, I guess, I guess I, I I guess people leave, right? I mean, we have like a 48% teacher retention problem, at least in Georgia, within five years, like half leave. Um, and so I am so lucky and I'm always so grateful for Roman because he would, he would do that. He'd be like, your grade book is a mess. Like you have way too many grades. None of this matters now. Like, you know, when you get to the point, past the point of no return, like none of your grades mean anything and kids are turning in work and it's like, you have 74 things in the grade book and like nothing's making a difference. He was like, yeah, you can't, it's a lot. Like you're, you need to do, you need to do this differently. Or yeah, you probably shouldn't have said that, but here's, you know, here's how to handle that parent conversation or whatever. And so here we are like 14 years later and I'm just, I'm super grateful um, for all the lessons and everything. So I'm excited about this, but don't tell them what a disaster I was. That's the only, no, that, you gonna, I'll just remove you. <laughs> <laughs> so bye, this is over. Click, right. Oop, that's the button. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it was, um, there's, there's the- Is that Shanda Yes, what's up? Um, she's also a teacher, okay? Yes. Yeah. It's like, it's like a Spanish teacher house at the zoo. Oh man. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. I, I, I think, well, first, thank you for having me and uh, thank you for inviting me to, to share what, what I have done before. And, um, I hope that you can walk out of here. Well, one thing we, before we started this, we had a mini conversation about who will benefit from this, you know? Mm -hmm. And if you, I think if we, if you're like a department of one or you're kind of new to teaching, we hope you walk out of here with this presentation. I think we'll share this, mm -hmm. share this. Yeah. and then you can link and maybe go back and read it slowly and maybe you get one thing out of it. And I hope that it will make your time worthwhile. Um, and if you've done this for many years, maybe sometimes we all help. It helps if we all just remind mm -hmm. each other what, what's out there, especially with, during this pandemic, that we can't do certain things, you know, with the kids. You can take them abroad, you know, that type yeah. of thing and, and, and different things. So it, everything's organized. I think that um, you know, if you have questions, just type them. I, I can see some of them here, but Meredith will kind of help me and guide me. I got you. And I will also say that no, you were amazing, Meredith. And, and I think that the benefit that I had as a as as your coworker or, or department chair is that I was the first one, so you had nobody to compare. <laughs> I know. And I, I looked amazing. So I was like, no matter what I did, I was Nailed amazing. It. And and I think that I did I did probably help you with what not to do. <laughs> but when you will walk by my room and go like, what, what is he doing? And I'll probably feel like, no, you can't do that. You, know? you can't do that. I can't. Right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, and I think that if you look back, you probably think like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's kind of no, no, no. I remember you be, I remember walking, because if you, if anybody else started, I started three days after I graduated from college. So I started I was teaching on a Monday. I graduated on a Saturday. Wait, math is hard. That's two days. My bad. I gave myself an extra day. I finished on a Saturday. Yay, ho hum, whatever. And then Monday started. Terrible decision. And um, I remember like walking in, and it's just chaos when you first start out. So like like you said, in terms of intended audience, like if you're a new teacher and not a department chair, I had no concept of how you even grow a program, why you would need to, like who cares, why do we care? And I remember like you were so good at that and you were so good at so many other things that I couldn't even like wildly conceive. Like I remember walking into your room and kids were just silently working and I was like, what does this mean? Like, why are they quiet? How did you do that? And it was just like, all of the little advice along the way and, and program advocacy. And when I actually um, went on to other departments and I saw that lack of advocacy. So coming back to like growing your program is also to me, and I think you'd agree, supporting your people. You were always talking to somebody about what we were doing. Um, like we in your department, I thought that was really important because I went other places and I would go, hey, you know, do you think like during the summer, so-and-so took you know, students abroad, so-and-so took graduate credits, so-and-so did a presentation, like maybe we could email the principal and like let them know, that'd be kind of cool. And I was met with like, our work speaks for itself. And I thought that was just kind of like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> they don't know what we're doing over the summer. And I, I, in the back of my mind, I always think of some of the things that you had done and that I saw you model so well, because it was like, no, they don't know that we're doing, you know, the canned goods on the weekend or stuff that you would do, the clothing drive.
they don't know that we're doing this or doing this. So just constantly advocating for people. It was super powerful being so young and being like, oh, wow, like that's support. So I always appreciated that. The, the other stuff will just go unmentioned. We won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot that we need to, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, same. it's but, mutual. Um, I agree. So I think, let me start with this. The, the idea is that you're going to walk out here with the slides and um, it is how to advocate for your department, how to make it um, strong. And so I stole this idea from many years ago, probably about 20 years ago at a Slack conference. Who's here? Hi. Okay. <laughs> you can stay here if you want. No, um, I just couldn't. I saw Muddy Ben's like, name, but I didn't. Okay. I don't know. You can just marry a Spanish teacher and then we, we share lesson plans. Um, Absolutely. Dang, so the, the, the idea is that I stole really was that I was kind of what Meredith to say. I didn't know where to go. I was at a middle school by myself and then I thought I was doing a decent job. And then I turned around and a year and a half later, I'm like, flag, what is that? You've never mm -hmm. been to a conference? No, oh, no. Mm -mm. CI, what is that? What was CPRS back then? Um, no. And, and so, so, so there's, there's, there's a lot of us by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And even like you said, there might be a department of three or four and you know, everybody's already set on their ways. I think if you've been teaching for a while, you know that some people, they're just so happy in foreign language to do the minimum, I call it a minimum, and just go home. And you know, not that you have to be at work, but I'm like, you, you understand that you could do so much and have an amazing experience teaching and, and connect with the kids and enrich the department. And that's what I hope that you walk out of with today. Even if yeah. I don't address it, you'll see the, the, the slides um, for you. Um, well, and I think, I think like you said, there's, there's always conversations about like do less when it comes to self-care, but I, I often, and, and there's an aspect of that, of course, like doing what's manageable, but like my French teacher department chair says, um, you know, the, I can't not take late work and the kids can't hate me and they can't hate this or else we don't have a program. You know, we've grown to two and a half French teachers and she was formerly a singleton teacher. And it's like, I, I we have to, we are, as language teachers have to constantly advocate for our programs, why languages matter in a sea of monolingualism and in a sea of like, oh, get them speaking that Spanish, you know? And it's like, oh my God, you know, colleagues who walk by and go, oh, English. English, this is the, I mean, I had a colleague do that a few weeks ago and all this kind of thing in the world language hallway. Right. <laughs> Get out of here, stay over there. <laughs> and, all, and also levels, like you want to grow your level threes and fours yeah. and, and move forward. So it's yeah. not horizontal only, but yeah. But, uh, um, do you control the slides, Meredith? I do. Body Bell's about to see her face. <laughs> well, this is a really good picture of me a few years ago. <laughs> Amazing picture. And, Nailed it. And then you have the next slide is like my amazing accolades. <laughs> but at the bottom are the most important ones. At the bottom is really two of them. It's really, um, you know, the average kid um, superlatives, right? Mm. And so and I'm getting older now, but see like most extra, you know, when they give a certificate and says you're the most savage, like, yes, you take it, you know, because apparently the beatings have never been enough, you know? So you right. have to like keep going. And the other one is the, um, the honors night kids. Mm. These are the kids that are the top 10 graduates and then they call your name and they say something about you and then you're on tears and they give you a flower. And, and I think that really it's, it, it's not my um, administrators or my coworkers who, who make me. Mm. I mean, I like it, but I really care about the kids. You know, the one that tells me they're not going to remember that I was teaching the present perfect. I think they're going to remember like, hey, I was crying and my boyfriend broke up with me, you know, and you gave me a glass of water or... You know, or you beat them up in the hallway or something like that. No, that, that didn't happen. One time. You beat up a student one time. In front of the others. Shh. Okay. No witnesses. Don't do it with witnesses. Okay. Very important. No. <laughs> okay. So you have here, um, I'm going to go over some of the top ones kind of fast, but I always thought that there's so much uh, to grow the department. And so, yes, you do for the students as it should be. And there's the stakeholders. And if you've ever been to the SACs or events at accreditation, you know, that's the parents, the administrators, the community, and it truly is building the program. And you want to have a solid program. Mm -hmm. And the stronger the department that you have, the more resources and money that you end up getting. Or, or at least you can just point to the principal and say, hey, look, math and science are not doing anything with their money. Give it to me. You know, and um, I think we went on a couple, 
Um, mm -hmm. This is before a lot of the internet. Like we went to some. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so like you want to have a uniform department. You want to have everybody trained. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, mm -hmm. let's go to the next one. Absolutely. And so you can see here, basically, you need to need to, you need to get to know the your accountant, the lady that does the money. She knows more than the principal where the money is. Mm. So you make friends with that person, and you need to like Mar like um, Maribel was saying, you know, like she they know where the money is, and so you can go talk to them and say, hey, how's science budget looking? Oh, they haven't used any money. Oh, okay, then you can go speak intelligently to the principal and say. Hey, I'm taking three people to um, school in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So only one person can go. No, no, no. All of us can go because science doesn't do anything for the last four years. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I'm taking their money. Or why do you have so many vending machines? It can't all be for sports. Like, can I have some of the money? Or you can have the Spanish Honor Society um, sell, you know, um, something uh, during football and you get half the profits or, or you split, you know, or you sign up for so there's ways to do that if you want to go to the next slide. Yeah. So basically, I think, money I think that's super powerful too about the PD, um, because like a state conference or a regional conference, I think people don't think to use like department funds for, like for that for conference. And my department chair does the same thing where she's like, no, we like sock a little away, and we can pay for three people who might have been like reticent to go, to go. And then it's like, hey, you know, if Kelly doesn't want to, Kelly doesn't usually go, but we're like, come on, you got to do the things. Um, then maybe I'm like, oh, you're cool. You're going to go. My department chair will say, come sign up during your lunch. And like, I'll, I have the card, like I have the school card, come, I'll pay for you in lunch. And then like, while we're standing there, I might go, hey, you want a room together? Now it's even cheaper because now we can share, although truth be told, I hate sharing a room. Right. Um, <laughs> but it's an idea. <laughs> or transportation or, you know, mm. you can go to your principal and say, look, if you pay for the, if you pay for the IV training, which is expensive, and right. I'll drive, I'll drive and I can stay at my friend's house in somewhere in Orlando. And like, you don't you just pay for the training or the AP right. training or whatever. Okay, if you right. want to go to the next one. Mm -hmm. I remember you driving, don't you have your CDL? Yes. I'll yes, I remember you driving like the bus when we went to like St. Augustine. And I was like, wow, that's that's a smart thing to get is yeah. like your your ability to drive a school bus. So it's like, you don't even need a driver. I'll do it. Right. How many of us have, have missed presentations, dances, uh, competitions, or things because the bus drivers are like, sorry, I was caught up. Like, no, what? No. Like, you were su supposed to be here an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So, no. And it's easier to ask permission for field trips, competitions, or events, or cultural things, or museums. When you go to the principal and say, here's my list of kids. Let's pay for it. You don't need a driver. Take the sub. All you have to yep. pay is the sixty-five dollars that you pay for the sub, or a I don't know how much you pay for the sub. That's all I need you. I just need a sub. Everything else is taken care of. And, and by the way, do you want to come with us? Because you should always invite the principal and the right. AP because they become your biggest advocates. They all come back, and I'm like, that was so much fun. As it should be. I told you. Yeah. Um. So on this slide, I think I have um, you know, like I think the the most popular thing that's been going on. I, I, I don't have, uh, you're going to see a lot of pictures of my coworkers like Maribel and, and Meredith uh, with uh, the, the super popular people now. I, I didn't, back then I didn't have cameras to take pictures with Jason Fritz and Susan Gross. Um, oh, oh. I do have with Blaine Ray. So that's my credentials, Susan yes. Gross and Jason Fritz. Um, <laughs> Wait, what about 15, the, uh, 17 years ago. Oh, we'll crash and I'll, you'll see. I have a, oh, yeah, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when I interviewed uh, for this job, uh, they asked me at the interview, I've told you this, but uh, this is like confession session. When I interviewed for my first teaching job, they said, are you trained in comprehensible input in TPRS? And I said, yeah, I wasn't. I just knew, I just knew what they meant. Um, and I, I didn't understand the word trained. <laughs> so I was like 21 at a job fair, like obviously hadn't had a set. Nope. Hired on the spot. So you're welcome. <laughs> well, you know, just, just. And here we are. Pretend. <laughs> Here we are. You are it now. I, fi I figured it out. I was like, oh, I know what they meant. That was, yeah, probably shouldn't have hired me. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so anyway, here, the, the idea was here that, you know, I, if you want to grow your program, like your, your French department head said, um, you know, the kids need to like the program, right? They become your biggest advocates. 
So, you know, you do the curriculum and then you enrich the curriculum. And so okay. then you have opportunities to, to grow, to have fun. And it takes a lot, a lot of time. I, I am getting a little bit older, but this is things that I have done. And, and, I, and thank you, Meredith, for vouching for me that I've done all these things. Yeah. But all of us have done this. And um, these are uh, many of the activities that you can see the hint, hints on or that the kids have done. So basically just make sure the kids are engaged and they have ownership of what you do. Okay, go to the next Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to move this because I, I think it's on the on top of the slide. You know, a lot of people don't have money to, to travel, to take kids abroad. I just put here a bunch of uh, ideas because the, the theme of this, how do you grow your program? So even if we do one thing, maybe send them to the uh, actual, I mean, the AT Association of American Teachers of Spanish Portuguese, the, the immersion camp, or maybe the government service program. Maybe you just train that one kid, you focus on that kid, the way the band teacher does or the, the chorus teacher, they're really good at training one great kid. They, they stay with that kid after school and then they send them on competitions or the mm -hmm. state level. We can do that as a department. You can, every two, three years, you, you come across one kid that is a governance service program for Georgia and you're like, you are perfect. I'm gonna mold you. I know what the test looks like. I know what the questions are. I know, what the, I know the structure of the essay. I'm sending you to spend the summer. And yep. to me, that is like, um, maybe two kids, you know, whatever. To me, that is um, what we're supposed to do, you know, just take them to mm. the next level. You know, all of us have had somebody in our lives and, and, and we can do that in, in, in these things. You, yeah. can bring, you can bring speakers and you have a bunch of things here listed. Um, go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. So you bring the world to the classroom. Um, you also need to be using the school newspaper or the announcements mm -hmm. or the computer or the TV uh, prompt always. You should always be promoting your department. Something's always going on. And why not let the school? Most of us put a little picture or the worksheets outside and in our hallway. No, 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 no. We're taking over the whole school. Yep. You know, we're decorating the whole school uh, or doing cultural events that involves everybody. You can go to different departments and, and work with the history department, the social studies department, and come up with something. You know, yep. um, I know for my for my school, one a, a few years in a row, I did for African American. Um, no, for uh, Hispanic month, you know, whenever it came to the, the Black History Month or whatever, I would throw in like things that were culturally related to Latinos in the U.S., to, to Chicanos, you know, like, Absolutely. and I'm in Georgia and I'm, I, I grew up in California. I'm like, I don't think they know everything that I know. So I'm going to share things mm -hmm. with them. Right. Well, and usually your you people who are your... Um like webmaster or the person making the school newsletter is like dying for material. You know, in our minds, we think those people are like just right. getting content all the time. And it's like, no, they're going, oh my God, thank you so much. Like we have a marquee outside our school. That's like at our, like our, if you pass our school, there's a, it's surrounded by neighborhoods right next to the highway. Like there gets a fair bit of traffic. And if something happens for you know, yeah, like seal of by literacy, this many offered or whatever, whatever, we'll like send that to the marquee because the, our tech guy, his wife is a Spanish teacher. And so we're like, Hey, Kevin, pop this yeah. up on the, you know, on the sign. And so right. we say language stuff like for weeks, because they're not that there's not other stuff to say, but yeah, why not, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can do the announcements and marquee um, if you have cultural events or you have something else going on that you will see listed here, um, or kids come back. Like if a kid comes back and they, they uh, I know for my school, we did the international skills diploma and they earned that. Mm -hmm. We invited the local newspaper. Right. Um, several years ago, we were on the front page of the Savannah Morning News when we invited some like mariachi people and the school was like, I always know how to talk to the news directors of the TV stations and the media. And I always send them mass emails. And they, usually one of them always showed up. You know, my kids raised money for the earthquake in Haiti or for the hurricane in Puerto Rico. They were raising money. I'm like, media, media, media. And the principal, I will go to him and say, you want good news? I'm giving you good news. I need money. Mm, uh, okay. Absolutely. So, I remember yeah. that being, that connection being interesting too. Because I don't, I mean, this is recorded, but I don't mind saying this. I was really, I had a really, really hard time that first year understanding um, a lot a lot of things as we all do, but I, I really didn't respect the principal at the time and a lot of the decisions and the way that I felt like people were treated. And I was always so impressed by your ability to like get to the point and, he, and you got whatever you wanted. 
Like, I don't know, you know, so I, it was crazy in my mind to like separate those two, like, oh, so-and-so really isn't like, I don't find them to be very professional and I don't find, but like you got whatever you wanted because you weren't afraid to go ask and you weren't afraid to say, okay, well, you want us to be happy? Like we need these things. And, you know, yeah, all of a sudden we were taking a trip or it was this or, and it was, it was really cool. Oh, thank you. So this is being recorded, right? So I can yeah. use it. Yeah, we didn't, I mean, <laughs> okay. I didn't say the name. <laughs> um, okay, so here's like um, Maribel and, and, and Berta invited people to teach them how to dance, mm -hmm. um, you know, cultural events. We all have done this. They've done it at their school. I've done it at my school. You can, I know this sounds horrible for some people, but to me it doesn't. You, within your classroom, you have so many kids that have talent. And mm -hmm. if somebody knows how to play the piano, somebody knows how to do an African dance, or you have a couple mm -hmm. kids from Asia or India, you have conversations with them. And of course they like you or they respect you. And you'll be surprised how much talent they have. They belong to the Filipino association or they can bring their parents and they'll do a performance for you. And you coordinate that with the Indian uh, community, local community, I don't know where, you, where everybody lives, but they're willing, they're waiting for people to, and then you can put a program. It's not a cheesy one. It's like a full complete like program. And then you invite the whole school and the principal will be like, that's a disaster. Like, no, 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 I need everybody's help. You can have an international breakfast and you can have teachers in, eat for free. The kids bring something prepared, drinks, you know how it goes, drinks, uh, pastries, desayunos calientes, like hot meals. You bring all kinds of uh, uh, tablecloths and decorations and you spread out everything and then have the teachers come in the morning. And then the different honor societies, the French honor society, Spanish honor society are the ones hosting this. And they're just recruiting more kids to take foreign language. You have a bunch of freshmen who might not be thinking about taking uh, Spanish or French. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, I might take it. You know, that's how you grow the program. You need to recruit numbers. And uh, it's for some counties, it's a given. Everybody takes foreign language. But um, some counties don't. Some counties uh, where you live, it's not a requirement to graduate. So you need to grow the program. And you become your, own, your biggest advocate. And then you start Absolutely. growing level three and, and more. Okay, mm -hmm. next. Um, so basically, obviously, we all know this because we are world in which teachers are the best. You know, we have travel, we have, we love cultures, we, you know, but, you know, we need to share that experience. And so here we have, you know, in Costa Rica, Mexico, when you used to be able to go to Mexico, um, in different countries, Spain and so forth. All right, yeah. Nick. I remember thinking too, like as a young, as a, like a new teacher, that was not even like on my trajectory of like travel. And I remember thinking like, Oh, like several years in going, okay, I think I'm ready to travel now. You know, so like you said, yeah. like audience wise, if you're, if you're, you know, a department of one or you're a singleton or whatever, there's, there's, there's a switch there that kind of like clips on a little bit, because if it's still like, I mean, it's always terrifying, but like, if it's still like too scary and you can't even figure out how to manage it, that's a little bit, you know, that can feel a little bit some kind of way, but I remember thinking like, okay, I'm ready to like take this on professionally, which was super powerful. Yeah. I mean, how beautiful is it if you expose your kids to what you love, you know, and you have a little side, you have one by one conversations on the, on the airplane or with the, on the bus and you get to know the kids, but you also can say like, no, I remember how difficult it was looking for an apartment or here's the subway or like, oh my God, we can buy the little ticket, like whatever, you know, all of us have done that. Um, these are, so you go international and then you can do local things uh, like within state. We drive all the way to Florida because Florida has everything for Spanish. So you can go to Ybor City or Dali Museums. You can go to restaurants. It can Oops, be just sorry. local. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just saying like, you know, if you're a new teacher, you, you're my audience now. Like if you are been doing this for many years, maybe you get excited again to do it again, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and, yeah. and, and be brave enough. Get to know the drivers. The drivers are looking for um, extra money. And sometimes when you put a request for the bus, you might not make it. But if you get to know, I coach soccer too. So if you know some of the drivers, they're like, hey, I'm going to Florida. Do you want to be my driver? Um, and then we pay for your meals and you're staying at the hotel. Like, yeah, I want to go to Florida. You know, like you might have to go always behind the, the protocol. You know, don't be so polite. Just be a go-getter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you do have to. <laughs> and there's Maribel and there's Berta. Yeah. And, um, I mean, they're amazing. So I'm sure mm -hmm. many of you guys already know them. They're um, role models to me as well. Um, so you have more of a Sorry. list here. You can go to the next slide, that's fine. Sure. Um, 
So if you're new, if you didn't know about the French Honor Society, here's a link, it's Spanish Honor Society for middle school. It's right there for you in high school. Next slide. Make a big deal. It's not quiet. It's not the quiet society. Mm -hmm. Just because it's the honor society, it doesn't have to be solemn and super quiet and formal. The ceremony is, but after that, oh my God, get them involved. Get them involved in the community because you're giving them, my, th my thinking was, I need to give these kids enough experience for their college application experience. So my Spanish honor societies were community-based. If you want to go mentor the ESL community, you can do that. If you want to donate clothing for the uh, immigrant community at churches, you do that. If you live in somewhere in Georgia and the uh, countryside, they will tell you, the churches will tell you, you ask them, what do we need? What do you need? We need jackets because the people for the migrant workers from Florida come to work here for two, three months, they don't bring jackets with them. They don't know how cold it can get. Ask the local communities where you live, what they need, and then and then mold your activities for the kids to do something meaningful, Because if that makes sense, you know? Um, uh, that's a clothing drive. That's um, the Pulsera project. I've done the water project somewhere in Latin America and Africa. This is a Ronald McDonald house. You can go prepare a Mexican meal. The kids have hours of community service. They get to see something different. Um, there's so many. I'm not listing all of them. They're here. They're not just pictures. You can do many things. I think the kids at the bottom of the picture here, uh, we were going to Costa Rica. And I'm like, give me all your supplies that you didn't use the rest of the year. last year. Mm. Bring me all the color pencils and notebooks. We're going to go to Costa Rica and I'll find a, a school. And it turned out to be a really good experience. We took our daughter there and, you know, we gave some supplies. It was kind of like for the teacher, whatever. But, you know, the school opened the door. They stopped everything they were doing. Our kids were playing with their kids' soccer and talking to each other. And that was like the best immersion. Another year they were uh, at a, what is it called, um, orphanage. You know, we spent like half a day in an orphanage in Costa Rica and our kids were talking to the little kids forever and we brought them a few things. Wow, um, very cool. And you have more things. You can, you, if you don't want to do Spanish or society, you can go with the international club. You make it your own cultural club, diversity club. You, you make a club, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> make a club. <laughs> there needs to be a club. And then, and then make them do things. Yes. Um, more pictures, you know, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, I think as a department, uh, growing your department, I think if you are gonna be um, department chair or in, I'm not, I, I haven't been one in a little while, but mm. um, you know, I think at one point you need to go and understand the structure of all the uh, associations that we have. You yeah. need to be linked to many of these associations and you need to become an advocate for them, they, for them mm -hmm. as well. And they need to recruit people. And those younger than you need to be invited and in, 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 in to participate. So here's how you can grow professionally. If you're a department of one or two, here's all the info. You can just Google this and you can see that there's plenty to do. You And you can see, you can invite the embassies. They have some, the Mexican consulate in Atlanta, Atlanta, I can say that word, Atlanta. They have the school supplies free. It's like the books that I grew up in Mexico, the elementary schools, one through six. The, that curriculum is free. You, you can ask, ask for the education lady and she can send you those books. Mm. Do you feel like, this just popped up in my mind thinking of the professionally, do you feel, do you feel like these activities and, and I don't want to say especially like getting involved with professional development, but, but maybe, um, do you feel like those help any of those sort of interdepartmental conflicts that prevent program growth, like those relationships that don't like those relationships that are either like neutral or worse, um, curricular differences, you know, this person teaches this, this person's die hard this, and I'm not going to ever do that. I mean, there are obviously varying degrees. Yeah, do you feel like I, any of these activities help like with that or? So, so I, I think I've experienced that. So I think it can go both ways. If you, so I'm just gonna say this, like you and um, your group, Nick and um, mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm blanking out. It's Sarah, I hope you look offended. Sarah, yes. Sarah. <laughs> I, I thought that we were like the dream team, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Right. Um, it could be, and I was, okay. I was younger than 14 years ago, but I just thought that we all just kind of like, there was no negativity, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Uh, Nick was going for, for his master's. I think you had just applied for that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm not gonna divulge all the personal things you guys were going through, but 
basically like it was like a I helped click the department. Yeah. We have their experiences. Mm -hmm. And I can see that somebody that grows professionally with all these things listed here and becomes an advocate that, you know, it's part of life. It's almost like a relationship. Well, what happened? Well, we just grew apart. This mm -hmm. person grew and I, this person didn't grow. And then you see that. Mm -hmm. And my thing is that I have enough credentials or experiences in my pocket that when somebody talks to me I'm a, 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 as a professional, that I'm not too clueless, that I'm, uh, I'm well-versed in what I'm doing. I don't feel... Right less i might not practice everything but there's an awareness of that so mm -hmm. i think that there's a problem with people and and this has happened over 24 years of teaching that some people in the department and you know this they don't want to do very much right and so sometimes you just run on your own hey you know what there might be seven people in your department you're the department of one and mm -hmm. everybody turns around and looks at you like how did you get put in the classroom because i didn't ask anybody because i just did it mm -hmm. like why what do you mean like why are you asking permission? Just get it done. Right. What are they going to say? Like the parents loved it. What every time the parents love it, what are you? What are they going to say? Well, we don't like it. Right. Like, right. No food in the, I'm, it was a horrible example. Maybe. I'm, all I'm saying is, I guess I'm answering your question. Yeah. It could be a. It could be a tool that everybody comes together and you move forward. Mm -hmm. I had a department chair many years ago when I first started teaching, that was doing actually TPRS. I'm like, how do you do so well? How is everybody's like, I fire everybody else and I got young cats, young teachers. I train them all and we're all teaching them the same level. I'm right. like, oh, oh. oh well, 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 that was really good. <laughs> Get people to lie at the interview and say that they are trained. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I, yeah. I didn't know you lied at the interview. Well, no. I didn't mean to. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> we, we, I like I misunderstood the question. We, we, I, yeah, I, I legit was like, yeah. Like, obviously, and then later I'm like, oh, they said trained. Mm. <laughs> well, no. we, um, it doesn't matter. I, I, I got something out of you because we, we didn't have a teacher in the middle of the year and you just kind of space up. Oh, that's <laughs> true. You're welcome. I, I, I'm a river to my people. No, I think you're right. I think there is, um, there was definitely like a, like a gelling, but, but also the things in place were, I got your back. And here's the vision for the department. You know, we do, it was like a, we, it was a, we do this, we do this. I'm going to do that. And like you said, sure, go for it. Like, just like teach that and let's see what happens. And if nobody says anything, then, you know, okay. And I never felt like I had mentioned that administrator not being supportive. I never felt like I wasn't directly supported, if that makes sense. Because when you're, when you're inexperienced, you can't even define what support means. Like, Sarah, who's like on here, as we know, um, Sarah would be oh. the only adult I would see during the day. And she was like, I was like, just turned 22. She had just turned 23. And we would like, you know how you only see people in the passing period. And so you come outside your door and you're like, hi, like, <laughs> cause it was like, so nice to see an adult. And so I would be like, Sarah, that was the worst class. I think, I think I cussed and I, a kid like yelled a thing and I don't know what it, but it seemed perverted. And then somebody flipped off, you know, Kelly and whatever, whatever. And she would be like, oh my God, same. And we were just like, okay, see you in an hour. And like, we'd go back in and it was so nice being able to be honest, being able to be ourselves and feeling supported from you and all the people around me. It was never competitive. And I think when I've been in in environments where things get a little dicey, there is no department vision, like Maribel said in the chat, like there was no long game. There was also no like cultural things of, we don't do that here. Or like, we don't, you know, like a good team, like good teams push yeah. each other, um, you know, and that yeah, was- I, I think letting the, the uh, everybody contribute kind of helps. I know it's kind of cheesy to say that, mm -hmm. but if everybody has ownership on what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the only, the only, the only problem is the teacher that doesn't want to do anything. Right. And, and you keep inviting them, you invite them. Right. And at one point you stop inviting people and you're like, mm -hmm. I'm going with these three people. Right. But um, yeah, yep. so I, I, I think it really worked. I think everybody just has the right attitude. And, and of course, all of us dream of having mm -hmm. the uh, people that are, um, you know, negative Nancy's out of the way and then you can run with the department. Well, and I think it helps you, I think it helps you assume the best too. So much of it is like when you read Brene Brown, listen to her podcast, she talks a lot about assuming the best and ascribing intent and decide, you know, that, that crappy, she doesn't say crappy, she says yes word, but like the rough draft 
that you run in your head about why something happened to you. Um, I think she calls it like the shitty first draft or something where mm -hmm. it's like, Roman said this, um, so I decided he meant this, like that's my shitty first draft. Um, and that's probably not actually the truth at all. You know, he might've just been tired or whatever. And I think, right, if there isn't the culture of sharing and going, hey, we're still gonna invite you. I mean, you're kind of cranky, but <laughs> whatever. Or again, sharing resources like, hey, no need to, no need to assume that thing is more work. I already made it for you. Here, take it, try it, you know, whatever. But yeah, at some point, what are you gonna do? Yeah, okay. Well, yes. I, think, I think we have talked about this. Look at all the look at all the famous people here. Look at all the fantastic people. Love them. Um, you can go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of cute because they're, they're obviously Maribel here is showing up. Uh, if you don't know this presentation is made by Maribel and me, <laughs> but uh, she obviously has like the the heavy hitters here: Maestra Loca, Senor Woolley, Senor Jordan, you know everybody. And 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 I have I think we have been trained by many of them, right? almost all of them, mm -hmm. go to the next slide. Okay. Just to let you know, like go to training, right? That's me right. at the bottom of crashing. What? Whoop, whoop. It's next to my picture uh, on our bedside, you know? <laughs> and look at that corner picture. What? Oh, good, that big. It's me. <laughs> right. Where are we? Oh, IFLT maybe, I don't know. Okay, go to the next one. We're somewhere in a, like a theater at a school. You know, um, in the pandemic times, you know, again, if you're new, department one, department two, look at all the resources that were listed Thank you, Maribel, making it look like I did this. But you know, <laughs> this is like amazing resources for you or pages that you can follow. You know, how many of us have not been saved by scrolling through Facebook and I'm like, here's my lesson for tomorrow. Thank you. You know, like cultural mm -hmm. things. And uh, I think the attitude of, of uh, that you said of um, just give away your stuff, you know, just, yep. just help. Yeah, kind of help. I think I think like you said, um, Sarah, Sarah, you better not divulge any secrets. Speaking of Sarah, um, mentioned that she, she, she said, I think it comes down to motivation or whether or not others that are less motivated, like, you know, like, like people are at different times in their career, like kids and family and life happens, obviously, we all, you know, have the ebb and flow of availability and motivation, but, um, you know, that's th those feelings of competition start breeding and it helps when you have a leader that gets the ball rolling, like when you're lost and get overwhelmed. And I think that's really, that's important too. Like somebody who can recognize where you are, like, oh, you're young and experienced, or you've been doing this 20 years, but you want to change up all of your methodology now and you're feeling really excited, but then overwhelmed. Um, I think that that leadership is important for sure. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and, and, and I, I don't think I was, um, well, thank you for saying that, but I, I thought I was just more like excited that you guys were driven and driven and mm -hmm. motivated. And I was thinking yeah. like, Hey, maybe they don't know about this. Maybe they don't know about that. And of, of course I, I'm going to repeat it. It made it sound like I was amazing, but I think uh, being young, um, well, you already can compare me, you know, it's not about, it's just more the idea of like, let's just do right and give this kid some experiences mm -hmm. and make work kind of fun, you know? And yeah. That's I think work. I felt, I think Sarah, I don't know if you would say the same thing, but I think I felt, I think the most powerful thing was I felt like an equal, like I knew I didn't know anything <laughs> and wasn't very good, but I felt like I didn't feel like you were going, oh, well, I, let I, me I, teach you about whatever. It was like, no, like you're part of the team. You're qualified to be here. We hired you, you know. I think I still do that today. And uh, I, I think I often say that, you know, in Spanish, we say, te rascas con tus propias uñas. It's mm. more like, you know what? I'm not gonna, like the administration will come and, and whisper in my ear, like, hey, can you check on this person? I'm like, they have credentials. They went, they went to school. They have their masters. What do you want me to do? Spy on them? Like, no. Mm. Like, and I, I agree. I, I thank you for saying that, but because I do think that, mm -hmm. that you're equal. Like everybody was equal. There's no, the, the, you know, there's there's schools who are like, I'm tired of being department chair. You want to do it next year? Yeah, okay, you're department, okay. Like they just swap, there's no honor to it. Just kind of like, who wants to do more? Who wants to put up with professional like leadership? Right, meetings? right. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. So at the end of the day, everybody goes back to their classroom, tiny department, large mm -hmm. department, just do the best that you can. And, um, you know, just always share, be positive. And, and if you hear something, I'm always stealing things. My students know that it's like, and now we're doing this. I'm like, hold on one second. Didn't you make that? No, like that. <laughs> no, I didn't make that. Got it from somebody. Thank you for um, uh, saying that, Sarah, too. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well, and I, I don't know, I don't know if Sarah remembers this, but I remember sitting down too. And this was the, you know, we, we talk a lot in teaching and especially language teaching about like, I don't want to be micromanaged. Um, and I guess so, like who doesn't or who does, but at some point, some norms in a department and in a program are really helpful because if, if I'm getting, you know, if you're getting my level one kids and you're going for level two or three, it's always two to three. If you're getting my level two kids in three and you're like, oh, who did you have last year? After you, they walk in the first day and you go, hola, como estas? And they're like, si, sí, me amo Ben. You know? And you're like, that's what I asked, but okay. Um, you know, that thing where it's like, who did you have last year? Oh, who didn't teach you Sarah and a star? All those kind of things. If there are some cultural norms, like well, that's just not a thing we're gonna do. We're not gonna be snarky about that. We're not gonna like gossip, whatever. But you also sat down and I, I do this in my department. I don't do this. My department chair currently does this and I'm, I'm really grateful for it. Here's what, you know, here's our grading scale and our grading book, which is district mandated. But you sat down and said, you guys need to have very similar things in your grade book. Like Nick can't have, you and Nick teach Spanish one. He can't have 47 classwork assignments and you have three. And your kids are like, get Miss White, there's no work when really maybe, you know, it's the same amount. I'm just not putting them in the grade book or something. Um, and it was like little lessons like that that weren't hard to execute. But I think a lot of people overlook in terms of undermining each other within the program, get, you know, get Mr. So-and-so, get Ms. So-and-so. And now you have these things that kids are going to do anyway. But some of that is preventable. I really believe that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, 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 we try not to do that stuff. And I mean, secret, secretly, we know, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, no, I, I, I think, you know what, go back to the thing. The kids are, the kids are ambassadors. Mm -hmm. The kids know, the kids know that they were doing competitions, trips, and, you know, it's all enrichment. All of that helps grow the department. I assume that everybody's teaching the right subject. So you're teaching the subject and you're doing whatever your school does. Meredith, you said like, you know, I'm a, I'm in a school with 10, 12 people. I'm still going to follow a textbook and I can right. enrich it with certain things. And we all have agreed to do some CI here and there or whatever, right? You still have to be a part of the department, right? And, mm. you know, you can have your own uh, personal uh, way of teaching and enrichment, you know, on the side. Um, so, yeah, you have to, you still have to work with other people, you know, and you yeah. can try to work to bring them in. And, and that's kind of like the, the main topic here is mm -hmm. grow the department, do a bunch of stuff promote it, grow the levels, do many activities. And um, again, if you, again, if you're like, are kind of new to foreign language, there's so much you can do. Your department should be doing trips abroad. Your department should be doing competition or contest. You should, department maybe can, I don't know where you're at in the country, but maybe, or it's broker competition, contest, immersion camps. You can do that yourself. You don't need to send them anywhere. You get your department teachers and you have a contest after school. Mm. You bring them and you do the same setup and then make them feel special by a dollar little certificate with little stickers, right? Print them in color from the uh, CTA department and they feel like they, they, they have done something. You don't have to go far. You can do all these things in the classroom. All of us know you can bring videos. Um, so you can have student of the month, mm. put, put them in the hallway, get the, go to the yearbook person and go, I need their student picture, send it to me and put all the graduates uh, of the honor society or your students of the month, you have access. You always have to go behind to do all the work, but you have to be willing to do that. And then show up to school on Monday and there's a bulletin board full of the graduates, you know, yeah. all this. If your school's small and you only teach Spanish three, one Spanish three class, put all their faces there. So the rest of them can say, wow, I want to be like them, mm -hmm. you know? Um, Absolutely. Anyway. I, hope do, um, I was going to show also if I can, let me see, boop, boop, boop. Um, we did our, ugh, it thinks I'm not here. Um, our curriculum department posted, uh, we, we have department pages, the things you don't know about your learning management system until this year. <laughs> Since we've all been virtual, we're like, oh, I didn't know that did that. Great. Good to know. So we all have a department page. And um, we beefed ours up this year with, ignore my face, my face is gonna be on the video, but we did a video with like um, teachers and former students talking about like why take a language 
And then we, um, one of my colleagues put together like a course description of like the skills for each level in language. Like here's what you do in, you know, Spanish one, German one, cheat, those are the same, but you know, like that kind of a thing, kind of the topics and like what all they do as well as a little slideshow um, with like frequently asked questions, teacher bios, that same video. And so really kind of advertising. Um, and I thought, I thought of you, cause I was like, ah, huh, this is like, this is very intentional. And I'm thankful for my department chair. Who's like, we need to sexy this up because we already have a really good program, but it's been a pandemic for 11 months. And if you're teaching hybrid or whatever, it's like Spanish study hall sometimes. Like we're just sitting there. We can't usually, we cook a couple of times a month and we do all these fun things. I'm just sitting at my desk, like <laughs> stay over there, you know, behind the glass. And so we're, you know, talking about being nervous about um, like students taking the upper levels. So really having to adjust. And I think that'll be, I think it's been a powerful thing. Students have been like, oh, I saw that slideshow in that video. I was like, phew, okay, good. <laughs> so I can have, if anybody wants copies of these, I can send. Um, copies of this so you can see kind of what we did. That's awesome. That looks amazing. That looks good. That looks yeah, it good. turned out really good. I was like, oh, please. We just kind of crowdsourced it. It was like, okay, Marty, you do this. Ben, you do this. Johnny, you do this. And then I'll put it like in a video. And then about, it took about two weeks, just little piece by piece, not two weeks total. But like have it in by Friday, put it in this Google Drive. And it was really cool. That is awesome. It looks so great. On this thing, I think, uh, I think I'm trying to look, look back. And, and I think that the idea was, I was doing some of that stuff behind the scenes mm. where you need to you need to build relationships with everybody to make your department strong. And so you needed to always be advocating for your own teachers. If some if if your teacher messed up, you can go to the to the AP and says, I don't think you know the rest of the story. This kid mm. in the hallway, blah, 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 and then kind of soften it up. And you need to kind of like step up and say something. What are they gonna do to you? They need us. They're short of Spanish of foreign language teachers, right? right? And so I think that the older ones, the ones with more experience, even if you're not a department chair, can always advocate for the newer ones. Um, yeah, absolutely. You also need to, I think you also need to know the district coordinator because they have more resources. They don't have a lot of money sometimes, but they know somebody that knows somebody. You can go beyond that. You can also, like in this case for us, it was Mark Linsky, but before that, just kind of always be, you should always be connected to everybody else, you know? Yeah. And so that's kind of like the idea that you need to always be informing. You must send an email, comes through your desk and goes like, huh, oh, I think Sarah would like this, you know, mm. or that French info. Um, what is the next slide? I was gonna say too, I think, let me look here. Uh, yeah, you show off. I was gonna say some, um, some of the state, I mentioned in the chat, but some of the state organizations also have like, like if you don't have a district coordinator, which many do, we're really lucky in Georgia, we have like oh, kind of a lot. Um, and then we also have a state coordinator, which is really nice. If you don't get with a neighboring state, because if we didn't, we'd be with, you know, I mean, like Tennessee doesn't, and we do a lot of work with Tennessee because, you know, we just were right next to each other. Um, and also looking at state organizations, state organizations have money waiting to be like spent on PD or spent on like scholarships, like for teachers, like teachers to do, you know, a master's in the summer, uh, like Skolt does, I know Nectful does different things like sponsors people and very few people apply for it. So if you're thinking professionally, like, oh yeah, I might, I might want to do this or do this. Look at what they've already, like what they're already literally giving away. Right. Right. And, and, and you see, Berta ha was uh, awarded many of those things too, and you <laughs> have to, you know, all right, next. Go Berta, go Berta, go. Yes. I guess we have fun things, obviously fun things keep going. I want to go over that. No, you know. Yes. You do have to grow your squad. You need you need the the to go people. They might not be at your school. So even if you have a in your department, you're like, oh, I just moved, like Meredith, you move uh, different yeah. places, right? You start fresh, you always go back to the people that you know from before, you know, like, yeah. hey, can you share this? Or just a conversation sometimes, you know? Yeah, they can't get rid of me. Um <laughs> I'm like, hey, remember that? Remember that time? I was going to say too, sometimes that's when you do get involved professionally is maybe you're not finding support like across the hall. You know, I've been in that situation. I didn't join LangChat on Twitter because like everybody in my school was really rude. Um, and like in my department, I was like, these people are kind of hostile for no reason. Uh, I was finding more support in colleagues from afar and I had just moved states than I was... Um, you know, like the people right next to me that were 
I mean, literally 10 feet away. So yeah, you never know where your squat will pop up. It's a super cute. Oh. That one's the last one, I think. Mm. Yeah, and you, you kind of have to be careful sometimes about the things that you have done. Those of you who have done everything and obviously, you know, like I, I mean, I've done it, but I don't, I don't know if I'm proficient at it, but like AP and teaching IB mm. and all the department chair, coach soccer and all these other things, right? And you're like going to a different school district. You're like, shh, shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. I just want to teach Spanish one and two. <laughs> like right. I just want the babies. The babies are the best. Just more Other them. certifications. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> No, not qualified yeah. to do anything. Right. Well, I, I hope that you guys, guys have had, um, you can take this. Is that what you're going to do? You can share this. Yeah. Is that okay? Can I share it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the idea is that hopefully you walk out of here with one idea of like, oh, I want to try this, like whatever, you know, or I want to join this or I want to share right. this with my peers or whatever. So if you have well, any questions, I them. Even think, yeah, I was gonna say stick, stick any, um, as we wrap up here, like any questions in the chat, I'll put, um, here's what I will do when I upload the recording, I'll put also the link to like these slides and I feel like there was another thing. No, maybe that was it. Um, shoot. You just made me think of something. Oh yeah. Even if it's, um, something you'd thought of, like you said, one thing, even if it's like one thing you've thought of, um, you know, maybe it even just for me seeing all the things you do for, cause it, it looks like it's just for kids and it mostly, mostly is. And that's the point, but it also is fostering, which is the point, the topic, right? Like those, um, departmental pieces, those cultural pieces, those, those kind of informal mentoring to a degree, which I think can be really powerful. Like anybody can assign, you know, Sarah, Amanda's your mentor this year. And that can feel kind of like, okay, now I got to do stuff. But some of those cultural, I mean, not that we don't want to do stuff, but like, now I got to do stuff. Um, those cultural pieces within departments can be mentoring in and of themselves sometimes when we don't even realize it or just sharing or getting involved. Um, and I think that's powerful. So even if it's like, hmm, I need to do that maybe next year, I think I think that's helpful because I you do so much and you've done so much that your experience is helpful to to me, because I think, oh yeah, I meant to do, I meant to be doing that by now, <laughs> or whatever the other thing is. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, it really helps having somebody uh, that reminds you of things. Like by the time you finish one activity, you go to the next thing, and you're like, oh, it's foreign language week. Oh, or and then you go to the next thing, and the next thing, and then, you know, the whole you can line up the whole year uh, like a pacing guy of activities, and um, mm -hmm. you know, just know that there's a bunch of things for you to do out there. Hopefully you guys had uh, some ideas and I, I think most of us need a refresher of like, oh, wow, I used to do so much and, and mm -hmm. I, I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm kind of excited to try something to revive some of the things that we, that I, that we have done. Um, <laughs> and I see uh, Miss Padilla there. That's your former teacher, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for sending her to me somehow. <laughs> she talks about you all the time. I know. Shut up. I said not to embarrass me. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I think, I think all of that, I, I think that's the conversation we don't have a lot of times in, I don't know, in department, who has time to make time for the things that we need to be talking about. But, you know, I think that's one of them is then even like from year to year, you know, you have different things to offer. Um, it might be again, like family, you know, expanding your family or, you know, you moving or, you know, job changes, like all these kind of ebb and flow type things that I think control what we're able to give and what we're able to get. Because I know when stuff was like really tense in that, in that department, I was like, I'm not trying anything new. Like, I just need to like survive every day. We're just trying to like minimize yeah. the crying at work. Okay. Like that's all we're trying to, and that was really hard. But then the next year I left after three years and was like, all right, now I'm ready to try new things. So I think also acknowledging that piece. I think having the balance is good, but I, I know that some of us, just by the fact that you're here, you spend your evening with us, so thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of us thrive when you're super busy. Like if you yeah. have so many things going on, you're like more, and then the, I, I don't, there's times that I don't remember teaching. I remember thinking like, you two, make a poster. You three, go get paint yeah. from the, I don't know, they'll steal some paint. You three, <laughs> go do, and then you're like, the kids are always in the hallway. They'll get, the A students are gonna get their work done anyways, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like always like, they're doing something, I'm like, hey, Michelle, can I borrow my students? But they're they're in AP chemistry. Like, you don't need them. I need them. Just we have enough for, for an hour. Also, just be busy. Get the kids involved. Yeah. Ninety percent of the kids will do if you delegate, delegate, delegate things. Like, oh, I need to do this. Well, why don't you go to baby? Can you go to the store and buy these things for the induction? 
Like the kids have cars, they're in high school, they're responsible. Like here's $25, $100, go. And, and they're really good. So I think it's um, motivating the kids like, to be responsible. All my, all my honor societies are not just the president, but they have leadership positions. Mm-hmm. Like you are in charge of this. What do I do? Like, I know you can't even order pizza, baby. But here's a phone, and I need you to do the t-shirts. Figure it out. Call Proof the thing. t-shirts. You're in charge of the shirts. They're gonna send you an email, baby. Just prove to read the thing. You know, like <laughs> get it off me. Like, and so yeah. I, I think when you do, um, when you keep yourself busy in the department, and you end up doing like 15 things, like literally, it makes you a better teacher. Sometimes you mm-hmm. love your job, and but it should not be at the expense of your family or your personal health. And um, I think I did that with you and Sarah many years ago because I was kind of like, I don't think I had children. Oh no, I, I did have two kids. You totally did, yeah, you totally did. But they were like small. Yeah, 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 they don't run really far. Yeah, like, like yeah, small and like not very mobile at the time, so no. yeah. Babies are like the best, they just sit there. Right, <laughs> stay there, stay right there. Yeah, no, I, I agree, I think, it's, I think it's kind of a fine line. I always waited for enough to be like a flip switch, you know, like, oh, you're doing too much, you'll know when it's enough, but like, you don't, I didn't, you know, it was like, uh oh, there it goes. <laughs> you know, like it got, do you hear that? Those deadlines whooshing by they're they're mm, missed them. And I'm not even sure I care. So I had to, you know, I think that's like a very personal conversation too. And like you said, what can we delegate to kids? Even if you're on like a state board or a state association, you're like, Hey, I got fourth period can stuff the envelopes or, you know, I want to take on more duties or like, I mean, Kelly's got freaking experience planning like workshops and stuff like at a school. So you know that you're going to host IFLT or something, you know, at your home school, get some kids to come in on a Saturday, get some hours, you know, they come in, like clean up the cafeteria. Teachers are going to come in, do a workshop. If you feel like professional development's lacking in your area, you know, put it together, offer to host it, have some kids clean up, have everybody bring some food or something. I mean, you know, there are ways it's just getting creative. I think. I agree. I agree. Just, okay. just delegate, delegate, delegate. All right. Well, thank you for having me. And I, I, I love being, having, having worked with you. So Meredith, hey. thank you. you and uh, Sarah and Maribel and everybody, including Shanda here next to me, we have grown together for many, many years. And so I get, I'm so proud of you. Like, I, I know it sounds like, like you always like, <laughs> But anyway, so thank you for always uh, being there to support me as well. And Please. so I appreciate it. And uh, everybody here knows that we're so lucky to have you. So oh, thank you for putting I all this together. I really appreciate you. There's stuff, there's a little like a Roman voice in the back of my head all the time. It's it's positive. It's positive. It's not the, you know, but it's like. No, but again, all the bad things, <laughs> the bad examples serve oh. a function. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> I remember. I remember the first session proposal I put in. I, I proposed this, I did a session proposal. You were like, do it, do it. I presented it at Flag and you came to it and you went, I mean, it was a good idea. Cause I was like, how did it go? And you went, mm, the topic. No, I did not. You, did no, too. Not. Yeah, you were like, it's a good topic for somebody. And I was like, Roman, you told me, but, but you weren't wrong. So there was that, uh, but you were, yeah. Like always encouraging, always like you should put in a session. I'm like, I don't know anything. I'm not even good at it. We did it once. You were like, it's one more time than some people. Just put it in. Say you did a lot. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to take full credit. You all have her because of Miss Padilla and me. <laughs> we, we got all this. Oh, we get I all guarantee the quantity, not quality. There's a, listen, there's a lot out there, but can't guarantee it's good. No, I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. I'll put the recording up. XOXO. Appreciate you. Shanda Sita. Thank you. Thanks for Thank hanging out. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Also, the new show. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Very fancy. Adios. Ciao. Besos. Adios. Appreciate you.